everyone. Welcome to One Pot Meals with Kate. That's me. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed the popcorn video from last week and Joe is more than happy to do a kettle corn recipe in the future so stay tuned for that. But we just spent an entire week at the EAA Air Venture Show in Oshkosh and we are worn out. Today was a moving day for us. It is getting pretty late in the afternoon. So I'm gonna throw something together that's really easy that we can have for dinner in a few hours. So today we are going to make sauerkraut beer brats in the slow cooker. Now to get this recipe started, you need to have two beers, one for cooking and one for drinking. Cheers, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of One Pot Meals. The great thing about this recipe is you just need three ingredients, sauerkraut, brats, and beer. Today, I'm going to use Pap's Blue Ribbon. And Toby, who follows us on YouTube and Facebook, sent us a note saying he likes to put sauerkraut in his beer brats. So that's what inspired me to add some sauerkraut to this dish. So I'm really excited to try it. So I've got my slow cooker. I'm gonna turn it on low. Take my brats out of the package. And once I've got the brats open, I'm just gonna pop these right into the slow cooker. Get my hand a rinse. So we've got the brats in here. I'm going to add some fresh sauerkraut that we picked up at the local grocery store in Wisconsin. I would say this is probably about a cup and a half to two cups worth. And I'll just dump this right into the slow cooker. And last, pour the beer in. Still good. It's always good to double check and make sure And that's it. There's a pound of brats in here, about two cups worth of sauerkraut and one can of beer. I'm gonna put the lid on, let this cook for a few hours and we'll have dinner soon. And for those of you who are into aviation, if you haven't checked out our coverage of the EAA Air Venture Show, I will put a link in this video so you can check it out. We had an amazing time. It's been a few hours, the house smells like sauerkraut, which we both happen to like. Uh, but if you don't like sauerkraut, I forgot to mention this, feel free to leave it out. The beer brats are just as good without it. And you can always add onions if you like, but I am really excited to taste this. Now let's fish one of these out. So I decided not to add any additional seasoning cooking this. I know some people like to add butter and spices, salt and pepper. I just decided to leave it as is because the brats are already well flavored. But let's taste this. Mm. Hold on a second. We're missing something. You really get the beer flavor, the sauerkraut. Now Joe's going to douse this in yellow mustard. Did I do a good job? No. Our subscribers do a good job of telling you how to cook. <laughs> Thanks guys, I appreciate it. This is so much better than what she was making me before. Wow. <laughs> Toby, thank you for the sauerkraut suggestion. It is really good. I love this. Now Joe doused it in yellow mustard. I'll leave it up to you. Even I liked better. it as is, but this was so easy to make. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week for another episode of One Pot Meals with Kate.